Hi there, Taurus! And welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot! This is your tarot forecast for the week of September the 5th through to the 11th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, we have Major Arcana the Lovers in the upright, followed then by the Six of Swords in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana the World in the upright. Followed then by the Three of Wands upright. And lastly, Major Arcana Judgment. All of your cards are in the upright position. You do have three Major Arcana um, in the reading. It could be an intense week for my Taurians. Um, if you watch the September monthlies, I did um, notice that there was some big changes coming for you guys. So maybe this is the week that's kind of uh, kicking it off. Your overall energy, Taurus, is the Gemini energy, the lovers in the upright position. Well, this is all about needing to make like a, a choice, a decision, and it could be a big one uh, for you, Taurus. This could be, you know, a choice with love, definitely. It's like, because we always have choices, we have free wills, so we can always choose to love, we can choose not to love, we can choose to push our relationship forward, we can choose to pull it back. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's an individual thing. It just depends on where people are in life. And sometimes we have to choose between two people. Maybe there's two people that we are dating and the time has come where, you know, it's not like the two of pentacles where there's harmony, uh, in the, in the, um, in the juggling. This is a situation where somebody now is sort of asking us to make a choice or a decision. So there's that going on as well as for those of you where it is not pertaining to love or romance, this could simply be about needing to make a big choice or a decision as to where I, you know, like say for example, could be big career choices or decisions. Maybe it's business partners, two different business partners or two different big companies you're trying to choose between. Either way, somebody's sort of asking you to choose to make a decision about something or it could even be you yourself uh, Taurus maybe you feel like it's time you make some kind of big monumental decision about something right at the beginning of the week you have the six of swords in the upright position this is all about moving on from emotional difficulties of the past closing a door and not wanting to go back there again sometimes this can represent travel uh, this can be travel across water travel across um, <laughs> across the state line it can be travel in any way could be moving as well moving homes moving offices moving somewhere else um, it could just simply be the metaphorically moving on from emotional difficulties of the past where we're just closing the door and we're no longer, you know, sort of ruminating in that emotional murky waters. <laughs> Next card up is the world in the upright position. This is about closing a chapter. This is what I was saying, Taurus. You're, um, astrologically speaking, <clears throat> You guys are at the tail end of the final descent. I will be doing a special video for you guys um, probably uh, next year to let you know, bring you up to speed as to where you are and where, you know, what's going on with you. But there's a lot of changes going on with Taurus right now. There's big changes, monumental changes. A lot of doors are closing in order to, because we're at the tail end of a Jupiter cycle, right? Jupiter's now in your, what, uh, 10th house? 11, yeah, it's moving into your 11th house. So it's, um, yeah, it's going to be tough, maybe uh, tough going for a little bit here. You're actually, in December, it's moving into your 12th house because you've been in your final descent for two years now. So, yeah, I guess it's it's going to start to get a little bit easier come next year. We'll get into that, like I said, when I uh, put up the uh, video. I'll be speaking directly to you guys about the situation but in the meantime there's some things that are closing but they're meant to close this is why I bring this up because of where you are astrologically there are things that are meant to close out now so I always advise people not to fight whatever is ending let it end and move on because whatever is going to stick around in your uh, final descent to go into the next you know when you have um have your new cycle begin 
those things that are meant to be there will remain with you, but the ones that you can't take everything with you from the last cycle into the new cycle. So there is an element right now, that's why it can somewhat be painful for people to have to leave behind or cut ties with or walk away from things in the past. But, you know, believe me, it's for your own good. If your soul or your spirit is putting an end to certain things and certain relationships, there was a, there's a reason for it. If it's time for you to move somewhere else, maybe you don't even know why, but you've got this calling to move somewhere, go with it. Just take that chance. Do it because this is where your future will probably be lying if you're if you're still ruminating in the old stuff from the past that didn't work out for you, there's no point. You're just wasting energy and time in something that's not going to go anywhere. So best to let go of that and move forward. And you will be moving forward in this week. I know I went on a bit of a ramble there, but it was something that I've been meaning to talk to you guys about. I talked to Aries about it last year. So this is where you're at and I will be doing that video and I'll let you know when it comes out. But the Three of Wands is uh, towards the weekend for you, uh, Taurus. And this is about making progress towards something because this something is ending, right? So if you are trying to build a business or trying to move somewhere or do something uh, to set you, yourself up for your new cycle that will be coming, um, th this is a good, this is good move forward because the three of wands represents there is something being built here. Maybe you're aware of it. Maybe you aren't. So it just depends. Some of you are very much aware of what you've been building. It's it, whether it be a business or relationship, uh, whatever, um, a company, it could be anything, but whatever it is you're building, you already know that you're moving in that direction but what you some of you may not realize that you're making these changes that will lead to a nice progression the last card you have is the judgment in the upright position judgment is um <clears throat> well you might need to make a judgment call come weeks end uh taurus this is about um having something resurrect it could be again something from the past it could be a, a past job it could be a past relationship friendship what have you could be popping up again i always say we we do have the free will so may, maybe this is where the choice comes in here taurus is because you are moving forward with something you're trying to close the door on something but something may be opening up again towards the end of the week it could be that all of a sudden you have a resurrection of the past pop up again sometimes it just pops up again for us to give us an opportunity to do full closure so we can finally close that door once and for all and sometimes it pops back up again because this is a road we need to to take for whatever period of time so this is where the judgment call comes in for others of you who happen to be spiritually minded this could be representing a huge spiritual awakening uh, around the weekend time maybe there's a big aha moment if you're doing some meditation or you're deep in meditation or something like that you could have some major revelation but yes this is what i have for you it looks like a really interesting week taurus please leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you and do tell us how so uh, in the meantime i hope you have a fantastic week and thank you very much for joining me. I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now.